So one of the things that I've been doing uh, is moving to Halo PSA. Obviously, everybody knows because I talk about it to everybody. I don't shut up about it, and everyone's sick of hearing about it. But this is Halo PSA, and we are moving our departments to it. And one of the things holding us up is our projects department, who works out of ClickUp. So what I did is I built a workflow that will fire off of ClickUp webhooks. And this is what the workflow looks like. Just a little nuts. Um, that will basically come in from uh, ClickUp, will grab the full task, and then grab the related time entry, and then match the time entry to a project in Halo, and then grab the details uh, of the time entry, like the note itself, formulate the HTML code, and then post it back into Halo. And we can actually see it working. If I can find, yeah, here's my practice project. So if we look here as ClickUp, the way it works is based off the project number is just inside the name of the project and ClickUp. And we just come here, we throw a time entry in of like some notes. Almost got that going. And then we want some time, we just 30 minutes and save. And what will happen is Roost will fire off and it'll show up on that screen without having to refresh because it's right there. I didn't have to show you the workflow. Boom. Just like that. While I was building it out, um, I uh, discovered somehow, don't, don't ask how it was related. I actually found it while I was early stages of building it out, but Mailgun allows you to create. Mailgun is the process that we use for emailing out of the Halo PSA, and you can use it for any PSA almost. So it has the ability to configure webhooks for events that occur to emails. So like if they can embed uh, like uh, spam complaint links to so you're compliant, they can they can embed unsubscribe links and they can track the links that you put in there. And they can also fire off uh, open events in the event. I mean, you can literally just go here and you can see all the events that they, they can do. Um, and they can fire a webhook based off that event. So what I did was I took Roost and uh, basically told it that if a webhook comes in from Mailgun, it's a little bit cleaner, then identify the event that occurred. Was it a delivery failure or was it delivered or was there something else that happened? And then based off of those events, um, if it's something else that happened, the subject line doesn't come through because it's not in the original webhook from Mailgun. So I have to go back to Mailgun and pull the full email, and then I can parse the subject line. If it's a delivered message, then I have the subject line immediately. I don't have to do that. So then I just grab the subject line and I get the ticket number from the subject line. After that, I go update the ticket and say the email is opened or the email was delivered, or if it was a failure, the email has failed to deliver and who it was and what other details Mailgun will provide to the ticket. So we have actual like marketing level tracking of email delivery into the PSA. And like I said, I mean, as long as your PSA can allow you to use your own custom SMTP server, then you can use Mailgun and use Roost to do this. Um, I told the CEO that we can track when a client opens the ticket email notification, and he's his mind was like, <laughs> because like we have clients who complain, like I never got the email. Like, no, we actually see you got it, and we can see you opened it three times because we get a webhook for each time you open that email. <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh, whoops, you're right, sorry. 